great news. It has been a record-breaking summer for endangered sea turtles in Texas. The National Park Service says 199 Kemp's Ridley sea turtle nests have been located along the Texas coast, the most ever found in one season since record-keeping started in the early 1980s. Thousands of eggs have been recovered and are in the process of hatching. The night team's Tim Gerber takes us down to the Padre Island National Seashore to see some of the hatchlings being released into the Gulf. These tiny turtles are taking their first steps into a dangerous new world. We give them every shot that we can, but then once they hit the water, then they're on their own. Dr. Donna Shaver and her team have spent countless hours searching for nesting Kemp's Ridley sea turtles, collecting their eggs, and watching over them as they incubate. When the time is right, she releases them. It's a bittersweet experience. Each release is special. Each turtle that we put out brings with it the hopes for future generations, future nesting here. But it, I do realize it's a very cruel world out there for the little turtles, and only a few of them will make it. The turtles have a rough road ahead of the 111 released today. Only about two are expected to make it to adulthood. Those that do survive might even find their way back to this beach one day. It's believed the hatchlings imprint the location of the beach as they crawl towards the water. The females use that memory to return in 10 to 15 years to lay their own nests. Look at how big it is. Hatchling releases are a popular attraction drawing thousands of spectators each season. We saw the sign yesterday down here at Maliki and said we have to come out and see this. Julie Hudson and her her son joined 200 other early risers to witness a sunrise release. None left disappointed. Well, they're not my favorite animal, but these were pretty cute. Maya Mackey plans to learn more about the turtles with her mom. And we're very big on uh, being oh, green yeah, and eco-friendly, really and yeah, this is very like important so to learn to take care of the planet. At the Padre Island National Seashore, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.